Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about a trade that would send DeAndre Ayton to the Charlotte Hornets in a really, really nice deal, which it would be, I think, considered as a, you know, a, a pretty big deal with some decent players going to Phoenix and some decent players going to Charlotte and a, a couple first round, more than three first round picks being involved. I think it'd be... Uh, one of the top trades this off season. Not, I'm not gonna say top three because there are usually, you know, stars to all stars. You know, being trade pretty often in, in off seasons. But I think it would be probably a top five trade in the off season, just with everything going on in this trade. Young talent going away. Um, uh, yeah. So let's let's get into what this trade would be. The, the Suns looking rid it, looking to get rid of DeAndre Aiden. I think they're willing to pay. Um, extra for the you know to, to get some talent back for him if they have to add in some picks i think they're willing to i really do think they're willing to you know to i think they're willing to get rid of um get rid of some picks in which they don't have many uh to get some good players back for deandre Aiden because deandre Aiden is a solid player and, and had a decent impact to their team he wasn't a good player in the playoffs but he did have a good you know impact to their team during the regular season average eight points per game 10 rebounds per game almost 11 rebounds per game so they're gonna want to get something good back for him and if some teams due to you know the way he played in the you know in the playoffs might not want to you know give that much up for him i think he's still worth a little bit but i think phoenix who would be willing to add in some picks in return for deandre aiden let's talk about the trade that would send deandre aiden to the charlotte hornets with it kind of looking like the Charlotte Hornets might be looking to make a decent trade or two this offseason to potentially make their roster better. They have the second overall pick, probably landing Scoot Henderson. Have LaMelo Ball next season back and healthy. Looking to move guys like Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier. I think, you know, I really do think that, you know, I, I think that the Hornets are going to you know, be a bounce back team next year. They remind me, you know, you know, I don't think not necessarily, you know, as good as the Warriors, but they remind me like the 2020 Warriors were horrible. The Warriors in 2020 after being in the NBA finals in 2019 were horrible. The worst team in basketball, worst team in basketball, but Steph Curry was injured. Clay was injured. Draymond played, but didn't play that much. KD had left. Um, you know, D'Lo was was the best player to start the season, and then they traded him for Wiggins. That was a horrible year for the Golden State Warriors, and that's what it kind of reminded me of the Hornets because the Hornets had a lot of injury problems last season. Gordon Hayward felt like he was they were you know wasn't as the Hornets you know when healthy weren't as good as a team as the Warriors would have been as healthy. But I think the Hornets could have maybe been a if if they were healthy all season. I think the Hornets could have been a play in or playoff team. Um, if they were healthy, the mellow ball was injured. It felt like almost the whole season. Gordon Hayward had injury problems or Gier had injury problems. This was an injury problem team. And I think once they realized, okay, well, we've done really bad this year. And if we, there's no need to, you know, try to make a push playoff play and push when we're, we're you know, we, we're going to be in the chance to get this guy in Victor Wimbanyama this year. Uh, let's just, you know, let's not risk, which LaMelo ended up getting hurt again. And Hayward just continued to have injury problems. I think the Hornets were at the, at the, you know, we're just going to shut this, this stuff down. Not even, no point. But I think the Hornets are going to bounce back next season. They got Scoot Henderson, most like that's, that's who they're most likely going to draft. Even though there's rumors the Hornets could move the second overall pick and trade down to like four or like, I've seen like three to three team, four team trades where like a bunch of top picks are moving, like the Blazers are trading. I think I've seen it, it was a, it was like a three team trade with Charlotte, uh, Brooklyn, no Charlotte. I think it was Charlotte, Brooklyn and Portland and Portland was like, I think I don't I don't know I can't remember what the but there's I've seen a bunch of three team and four team trades where um, I've seen the Rockets and then the the Hornets and t- just teams moving out moving out of this but I don't see the Hornets moving this second overall pick I, I see Scoot Henderson and Lamelo teaming up and then you got that you got them them two teaming up 
They have the trade assets of Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier. Because Terry Rozier, he's not. If they're drafting Scoot Henderson at at number two overall, Terry Rozier is not staying. I mean, they're not they're not keeping him. Terry Rozier is a very valuable player in the free in the in the, in the trade market. I do think they could get us a couple solid players, solid couple solid picks back for Terry Rozier. I think Gordon Hayward is gone due to you know him being a free agent next year and his big contract. Gordon Hayward. It, it's $31 million on his contract. And add in a center with Lamelo and Scoot Henderson. Scoot Henderson, good passer. I think him and DeAndre Aiden would work well together. Um, and then you you pair DeAndre Aiden, Scoot Henderson, and Lamelo Ball with the the talent that uh, they're going to the, – the, the players the, that they're going to get in return for – the players are going to get in return for guys like Terry Rozier and other trades they make. It seems even better, um, and I think with you know whatever they get back for Rogier, and and you got that in the starting possibly though I think they could probably get a starter a starting caliber player back uh, or or two back for Rogier. Um, yeah, I think I, I I could see the I could see the 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 I definitely could see the the Hornets being able to get a starting caliber. Either a st- one starter, starter, you know, st- like starting player back for Rozier, uh, in a first round pick, or like maybe two starters. Like maybe you're able to get two starters back for Rozier, and then, and then maybe I think like if you're getting only one starting player, like one starter, starter caliber player, I think the first round pick you're getting is not as good as the other, you know, potential trade. If you're getting two, st- I think if you're getting like. Two starting caliber players. It's gonna be you're gonna get like a pick that's gonna be at the end of the first round. But maybe if you're getting only one starting caliber player, you're gonna get like a decent first round pick back for Rozier, and just probably just my guessing of what Rozier's value is. But you're getting back some decent players back for or or one player. Or I think you would definitely get multiple players back for Rozier. Getting some decent players back for Rozier, pairing them up with. DeAndre Aiden and Scoot Henderson and Lamella Ball. I think you got a solid team, um, and it would probably be with some, you know, looking like some Eastern Conference teams like the Raptors and the Raptors and the Bulls potentially going into rebuild, and maybe even the Hawks getting worse. That the Hornets could probably be a, a bottom eight or seven seed in the Eastern Conference with Aiden, Scoot Henderson, and Lamella Ball, and whatever they get back for Hayward and. Hayward and um, Hayward and Rogier and and all of them are together and they're healthy. I think the Hornets are a playoff team, a seven or eight seed most likely, or even six seed. Who knows? But it, I think that six seed is the is the highest ceiling for the that Hornets team if they're healthy. But let's go over what a trade would be with the Suns and the Hornets uh, to get DeAndre Aiden in Charlotte. Um, so the 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 Suns are getting. Two players and two picks, and then the Hornets are getting two players and three picks. So the Suns would be getting Gordon Hayward, one of those players we're talking about, that Charlotte, I mean, Charlotte will be looking to move. And and then Gordon Hayward adding him into, you know, Phoenix's offense, I think it'd be solid. If he's healthy, he's a really good player. Um, He's not as good as he was before his leg injury in Boston, but I think he's had some solid years ever since then. I think... He should be able to have a decent year in Phoenix. You know, he's not expe- he's not expected of that much with with Chris Paul and Devin Booker and Chris Paul. I mean, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant scoring most of the offense. He, I think, he'd probably average around twelve to fifteen points per game, possibly for the for the Suns. And then also, I think the Suns would get Mark Williams, a seven one center who was drafted last year, an unbelievable young talent. I think it would be hard for. The Suns to give him up for the for the Hornets to give him up, but um, I think the Suns are going to want to want back a starting center, and this is this is improving their starting lineup. Uh, DeAndre Aiden's out of the lineup. I'm don't I I think as I think Mark Williams has better potential than Aiden because I think Mark Williams when he you know when it's all said and done both guys are retired. I think Mark Williams w- w- would have had a will have a better career. But I think as of right now, DeAndre Aiden, with you know how young Williams is, he's I think he's nineteen or twenty. Uh, I think right now Aiden's the better player, but um, also 
with Kate, the, the the Suns don't really have a great starting small forward. KD's playing the power forward. I mean, it felt like it was, I mean, small forward, I think, was Torrey Craig. Torrey Craig wasn't starting for them. Who was starting at small forward? I can't remember. It felt like it was always changing and the Suns for the playoffs. But, yeah, uh, I think Gordon Hayward would be a way better starter compared to what they've had, you know, whoever they've had starting at the small forward position. Um, and that, you know, after, after the KD trade happened, I think it'd be better than any starter they had. I think Torrey Craig started a little bit. Uh, who else started? I can't, it's not coming up to my mind. Uh, but Mark Williams, you know, I think it'd be a better punctuated lineup. I think, you know, the, I think Chris Paul and Mark Williams would work well together, um, on pick and rolls. And I think not only that, but, I think these guys would get better, you know, get along better with Mark Williams. They, they, I don't know. It just felt like in Phoenix, Aiden wasn't, Aiden didn't feel welcomed. I don't know. It just felt, that's what it felt like to me. But I think Gordon Hayward, that's upgrade in the lineup. I think with how the tension, you could kind of feel the tension between Aiden and the Suns organization and the Suns fans and the whole city of Phoenix. I think with the tension Aiden brought, and you know, it felt like you could feel the tension between Aiden and this in the Suns that Mark Williams is an upgrade. I think Aiden's the better player, but I think Mark Williams is an upgrade for how bad Aiden struggled. And I think as Williams gets older, he will become better. He's seven one compared to Aiden six eleven. Aiden's not a Aiden's a better shooter, but I think Mark Williams can become a better shooter. But I think it's going to be a really interesting thing to figure out. So they get Williams and Hayward. They also get the a 2023 round one round uh first round pick which is belongs to denver um which i think is the 26 27th overall pick i think it's the it's 27th overall pick and then they, they'd also get the 2027 first round pick i mean that's gonna that's not gonna be a great pick that's gonna be i mean you're gonna have i i, I would think aiden's still gonna be I would think Aiden's still going to be in Charlotte in 2027. If not, I think LaMelo and Scoot Henderson definitely would be. They should be a good team once these guys are older and Scoot Henderson and LaMelo Ball. Um, I'm not going to say that's going to be, you know, one of the Hornets are going to be one of the best teams in the NBA in 2027. But I could see the Hornets being a top four seed in the Eastern Conference in 2027, maybe top five um, in the Eastern Conference. So that's not going to be, it's going to be a solid pick in 2027. And then what the Hornets get, of course they get DeAndre Aiden, but they also get Landry Shaman in this deal. The Suns are most likely looking to move on from him this offseason. And then they get a 2023 round two, which I don't know what pick that is, but it's very late in the late in the um late in the draft. And they also get a 2025 round two and then a 2024 round one. So two seconds and a 2024 first round pick, Shamit and Aiden to the Hornets. And the Suns get Gordon Hayward, Mark Williams. A 2027 first round pick and the 27th overall pick in this year's draft. I think it'd be a solid trade for both squads. Um, Suns move on from Aiden, add in some new starters with Mark Williams and Gordon Hayward. Also, um, lost a lot of first round picks. I know they're giving up a first round pick in this trade, but they're getting back two, which one wouldn't be for long because that's the 2023, but, um, they're getting back two for one, which they lost a lot of first-round picks for making the trade for Kevin Durant. I think they traded four or five first-round picks for Kevin Durant. So they're adding in you know, a, a first-round pick, which I think ultimately I think the 2027 first-round pick from Charlotte is a better pick uh, from 20, the 2024 first-round pick than Phoenix. Because Phoenix could be one of the best teams in basketball next year with Kevin Durant, a full season of Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and... Chris Paul and some of the guys they bring in uh, that they tr- they trade away for DeAndre Aiden. Uh, if it's this trade or a different trade, so Phoenix is going to be one of the best teams. That could be like the you know one of the last picks of the first round compared to the twenty twenty seven pick with the Hornets. Even though I believe the Hornets would be a top five, top four team in the Eastern Conference, um, in 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 twenty twenty seven. We don't know, and I think that 2027 first-round pick is way more valuable than the 2024 round one that the the Suns have. I think that the Hornets' 2027 is better than the Suns' 2024, and I think that it would be better for the the Suns to have that 2027, that 2024. So I think it's a solid trade for both squads. You guys let me know who says no. Let me know what your thoughts are on the trade idea. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.